Hello everyone, I'm Professor Kamil Omoteshwa, the Pro Vice Chancellor and Dean for the College of Business, Law and Social Sciences. It is my pleasure to welcome you all to this special annual event, the Dean's Award. The ceremony is organized to celebrate our students' academic excellence across all disciplines and programs within the college. Because of its significance, we are committed not to be deterred by the current pandemic, hence the use of our online platform for today's event. I wish you all a pleasant time with us this afternoon. In terms of order of events, all heads of schools here present will be making a speech and they will be introducing to you the heads of disciplines across all the two schools. Thereafter, all the program leaders will be making a, a speech and then I'll be wrapping up afterwards. It's my pleasure to introduce Professor Warren Manning, who will be giving a welcome address on behalf of the University Executive Board. Thank you. I'm Professor Warren Manning, Professor for Innovation and Research at the University of Derby, and it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the Pro Vice Chancellor Dean's Award celebrations. We're delighted you could be here to celebrate with us your achievements and successes through academic year 2019-20, and I'd like to congratulate each and every one of you. Yeah, hello there. Uh, my name is Phil Hodgson. Good afternoon. I'm the uh, Head of Law and Social Sciences and uh, welcome to this afternoon's event. As uh, Camille mentioned earlier, um, today is a celebration of academic excellence and um, we're all very proud of you, um, of, of your achievements. And I know it's been a difficult year for everybody with, with COVID, but you still excelled. I think that um, as head of school, I've got a fantastic job. I lead a, a, a wonderful team who strive for excellence in research and teaching. And at the centre of everything we do is uh, student excellence and hopefully maximising your achievement. And today we've got uh, a number of students who've performed exceptionally well and will be recipients of the Dean's Award. This is a fantastic achievement. It's something that looks great on your CV. Uh, I say this every year, um, I uh, received a Dean's Award when I was a student and it was always a talking point, any interviews I went to um, and yeah, it's, it's a fantastic thing to have on your CV. Um, I would say to you that obviously um, keep the efforts up, this is the your end of your first year and second year and we want you to get your first class honours degree, um, so keep up the efforts. Um, it's clearly you you're on board for um performing excellently in your finals but make sure you keep up the efforts the other thing i'd like to say just before we um um move on to the the, the ceremony itself is to thank all the, the staff in law and social sciences um i think as i say you, and i'm sure if we were there in person we would uh give them all a round of applause for the efforts that they've that they've made to uh, keep the university teachings um, uh, very high quality and uh, excellent and 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 excellent over the last 12 months um, but today is about yourselves and your achievement and celebrating your achievement and I, I, I'll be um, well I'm, I'm just going to say well done it's a fantastic um, um, uh, accolade for you all and I look forward to hopefully uh, seeing you and shaking your hands in the future. But without further ado, I'm going to pass you over to the Head of Police, Tony Blockley, who will give out the first awards. Thank you. Thank you, Phil, and uh, good morning and welcome. Uh, as Phil said, my name is Tony Blockley. I'm the Head of Policing here at the University, and I'd specifically like to welcome all those students from policing and investigations and policing and uh, many many congratulations for achieving the dean's awards it's uh, a fantastic achievement as phil and camilla said in some very difficult circumstances so very well done 
What I'd like to do is announce those winners. Uh, I shall start with the policing investigations winners. The first one, uh, well done and congratulations to Natasha Dixon, to Chloe Hughes, to Hannah Purvis, to Megan Shaw, to Amber Chase, to Kaylee Johnson, and to Anna Thompson. Very, very well done, and uh, a credit to the uh, to the policing investigations course that you're on. From our policing students, I'd like to congratulate Amelia Magney, Jonathan Skilling, Megan Taylor, Katie Tomlin, Jonathan Levens, James Stevenson, Joseph Kenish. Olivia Fowle, Amy Garrett, Chloe Hadfield, and Samuel Hawkes. Again, very, very well done to you all. And uh, I wish you all the very best in your future studies. And thank you very much for being part of our team here at the University of Derby. I'm now gonna hand you over to the Head of Discipline for Law, uh, Sue Jennings. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, yes, thank you, Tony. Thank you, Camille, and thank you, Phil. Huge congratulations to the um, recipients of the Dean's Award in the Law School this this year for this semester. Um, you've displayed huge resilience. Um, and we're incredibly proud of you for your achievements um, this semester. So I'm now going to announce the winners. So for, for in the first year, we have Shane Nightingale. We have Chloe w Pearson. Michael Hansbury. Nicola Lambert. Victoria Lashkovitz. Nina Marich. Matthew Smith. So congratulations to all of you. From stage two, we have Sophie Spencer, Jessica baxter Clucas, Melissa Campbell, Luke Johnson, Megan McGillan, Fern Smith, Susanna Vavrick, Megan Whiston, Amy Emerson and Hannah Louise. So I'd just like to say again on behalf of all of the law school, um, congratulations for your engagement um, and your excellent achievements. Keep it up and look forward to seeing you really soon. So I'd now like to hand over to Charlotte Hargreaves, who is Head of Discipline for Criminology and Social Sciences. Hello everybody, I'm the uh, final discipline head for our side of the college, which is uh, Law and Social Sciences. And I just want to echo what everybody has said before, which is a, a, a very big well done on congratulations on your achievements. I'm going to start with the students from Criminology first. Um, so we're going to start with Chloe Player, Thea Burnby Crouch, Louise Hellyar, Jacob Howe, Sophie Hyde, Manuela Marulanda Venegas, Danielle O'Connor, Ellie Simnit, Claudia Smith, Holly Alexander, Celia Butterworth, Bramley Clarence, Ellie Cook, Bethany Hicking, Amy Holder, Rebecca Manzi, Jessica Ritchie, Alex Wood, and Beth Price. Well done. Okay, for our sociology students, I have Clarice Howbrow, Timothy Horswell, Amelia Poole, Jessica Revel, Timothy Horswell, oh, sorry, Fatima Abdulaziz, Brigitte Coroni, Jade. Petrovic, Christina Brozovar, 
And moving on to international relations, we have Grace Vagosta. Finally, for our joint honours students, we have Rosie Jones, who's doing sociology with journalism, Ishtiak Hussein, who's doing criminology with sociology, Sophie Maiden, who's doing sociology with criminology, and finally, we have Veronica Sakaninova, who is doing international relations with marketing. A big congratulations to you all. Now, I understand that we have some um, messages now from our, our programme leaders, which are going to be shared with you. Well done. We've achieved the Dean's Award today. The IR&D programme is a challenging one, with our students undertaking rigorous academic and field work as they explore the practice of diplomacy. The programme challenges our students as they develop their skills in research, analysis, policy and report writing. They also get to work on their networking skills as they meet diplomats and representatives from international organisations. The two students who are receiving the award today have excelled in all of these areas. Grace and Veronica have been exceptional student diplomats for the university, as we met embassy staff and professionals in London and members of the UN in Geneva. Grace has also gone on to participate in an EU workshop in Brussels. Both continue to represent the university in their home countries of Italy and the Czech Republic. Veronica and Grace have excelled in their academic work, achieving grades in the top 5% of their cohort. This is a well-deserved award and the IR&D team are pleased to be able to support them in their continued development as they complete their degree and go on to further study and their future careers. Hi everyone, Dr David Patton and I just want to say a huge congratulations to all of the ML95 and Joint Honours with Criminology students who've just achieved such a massive achievement in um, gaining this Dean's Award. On behalf of myself and the whole criminology team, we just want to say how proud we are of you and um, just we want to let you know that we're really cheering you on. And um, as we as a team kind of reviewed the list of students that had won this fantastic award, um, we weren't surprised to see all of your names on there. We'd kind of, we'd spotted you kind of right from the first semester. We'd kind of seen your talents and kind of the way in which you kind of commented in the activities and contributed the questions you were asking and also as we kind of uh, marked your work we were kind of really impressed by the differences in the sources that you were using in the way that you were constructing kind of your arguments and putting pieces together the way in which you were kind of approaching the different criminological problems so you know fantastic well done everybody and um, it's clear now to us and hopefully to yourself that you're very talented you're very gifted um, in both academia and in kind of critical thinking, in kind of synthesizing information, in communicating um, your own particular argument and evidencing that. And so, you know, Maya Angelou says that where much is given, much is also expected. So my key question to you guys now, kind of going forward, after becoming a recipient of this award, is how will you use your talents? Who will you use it to serve? Whose voices will you use uh, in service to raise up and give them a voice? What people group, what cause will you devote your talents to? And I believe that when you have that combination of a talent applied to a cause in service, applied to a people group in service, that that's when the magic happens. So I, I think that we are kind of given these gifts for a reason. And um, my invitation to you guys is to use them uh, in the powerful way, the most powerful way that you can in order to uplift somebody else. Congratulations again, guys. Best of luck in the future. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Nicola Lynch and I'm head of Derby Business School. And I'm thrilled to be here today to celebrate the excellence of all of our students across the college. And of course, in particular, the achievements of our Derby Business School students. I've had the pleasure of teaching some of you since you started with us in Derby. And so I know firsthand just how hard you all work to achieve the grades you have. I also recognise that it is not just in the classroom that many of you have excelled. We have students here who are in work placements, those who have done internships, volunteering work 
those who have ha played the very important role of being representatives for the student voice on both our programme and school committees and many, many other extracurricular activities. I would like to say to all of you, on behalf of all of my colleagues across the business school, well done. We are extremely proud of you all. So now keep working hard. You have bright futures ahead of you and we look forward to the future when you graduate and you subsequently when you come back to us as alumni to tell us how great things, all the great things you have achieved in life and in your careers. Students are at the heart of everything that we do at Derby. So I would also like to thank all of the staff in the business school for their academic excellence and the support they provide our students. So now we will announce the Dean, Dean's Award winners for Derby Business School. Without further ado, I will pass you to Isabel Stockdale, our Head of Discipline of the Centre for Contemporary Hospitality and Tourism, who will announce the award winners from the programmes in that area, Isabel. Okay, thank you, Nicola. Um, as Nicola said, um, I'm Isabel Stockdale and I'm the Head of Discipline for the Centre for Contemporary Hospitality and Tourism. And I'm delighted on behalf of all of the CCHT team to announce the recipients of the Dean's Award for our Culinary Arts and Culinary Management Programme, Hospitality, Tourism, Events and Spa Programmes. And I'd just like to say a huge congratulations to all of the winners. So. We start with Barnaby Brooker Mays, Erica Agaye, Lucy Bradbury, Maya Beckett, Andrew Jacobs, Holly Deer, Annabelle Holton, Amy Worrell, Demanti Pazarati, Michaela Purvu, James Watson, Martha Hughes, Suzanne Martin, Jemima Pratter, Dineja Ramanuska, Emily Wilson, Nikita Bavarelovas, and finally, Georgia Moffat. So huge congratulations, everybody. Well done. And please keep up all the hard work. And now I'd like to hand over to Dr. Alison Lawson. Thanks very much, um, Isabel. And thanks to Nicola and all our previous speakers who have passed on their congratulations. I would also like to congratulate all the students um, on their fantastic achievements. Um, I'm the head of the discipline area of marketing and operations in the business school. And so the programmes in my area cover marketing, logistics and information technology management for business. So without further ado, I shall proceed with the students on the marketing, PR and advertising programme. Congratulations to Eleanor Keane, Adriana Malikova, Sandra Havelkova, Amy Brooks, Ellie Brookshaw, Charlotte Kurd, and Alia Malvanka. Very well done. And to students on our marketing digital programme, Kathy Hudson, Nagina Iqbal, Barbara Horachova, and Jotdeep Dra. Very well done. To students on our Logistics and Supply Chain Management Programme, Paul Saffron, Charlie Petrie Wood, Patricia Suba, and Lucas Bonyecki. Very well done to you. To students on our Marketing Management Programme, Daniel Swales, Lucy Stobart. Congratulations. Students on our Information Technology Management for Business programme, Faha Din and Tony Karin Munipal. Students on our Joint Honours programme, well done to Thomas Barrington, who's studying marketing with media studies, and to Osreen Tilberkite, who's studying marketing with business management. And finally, in my area, 
to a student on the Marketing Consumer Psychology programme. Well done to Alice Mullen. Well done to all the students in Marketing and Operations. I'm delighted to see how well you've done and look forward to seeing you graduate in due course. I'll now pass on to Parminda Johal, who will give the awards in her area. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm delighted to be presenting the Dean's Awards for the discipline area of accounting and then economics and finance. So I will start with the accounting discipline area. Um, huge congratulations to all of the students who are going to be called out. Starting with BA Honours Accounting and Finance Stage 1. Congratulations to Joanne Campbell, Taryn Jeet Kaur, Kieran Singh Lager, Jacob Riley, Christopher James Rustin. At Year 2 on the same programme, Ak Phil Belt Miskite, Simran Kaur Chohan, Adish Darbar, Jacob Hanley, Lydia Power, and Adam Price. For the BA Honours Business Accounting and Finance program in year one, congratulations go out to Kishan Chohan, Joshua Paul Ganderton, Lucy Hadley. At year two, Devasya Velnayagam. On the Integrated Masters in Accounting and Finance program, congratulations to Corinne May Barrett. On the Joint Honours with Accounting and Criminology Year 1, Eloise Catherine Hopp. And for the Joint Honours Accounting and Business Management Year 1, congratulations to Claire Lowe. For the Economics and Finance Discipline, starting with Year 1, BSc Honours in Economics and Finance, congratulations to Amber Essex. At Year 2, congratulations Rahil Antenna. For BSc in, in Finance, Year 1, Tony Gardner. Year 2, Yan Zouteng. Congratulations. For BA Honours in International Business, Year 1, Dorothy Mavura. For BA Honours in Economics, Year 1, James Burrows. Year 2, Ryan Atkin and Jessica Thorburn. For Joint Honours in Economics with Mathematics, Year 1, Sabrina Balmonde Maldonado. For Joint Honours Economics with Business Management, Year 1, Jennifer Blunt. For Joint Honours Economics with Marketing, Year 1, Paula Lopez de McGill. And finally, BA International Business and Finance, Year 2, Joshua Ross. Huge congratulations to all of you. I will now pass you on to Dr Tina Bass. Thanks, Parminda. Uh, it gives me great pleasure as the head of business and management discipline area to congratulate those students that have been outstanding this year. I'm going to begin with the Bachelor of Arts in Business Management. Luke William Bradley. Shanice Jean Marie Clifton. Bruna Costa Nunez. Dylan William George. Daniel Hartley, Matthew Holm, Jessica Alice Large, Marche Mikish, Tinatenda Mtangadora, Veronica Pally, Abigail Parkin, Daniela Philomena Sano. Lauren Chelsea Souter, Bonnie Whitmore, Samuel Craig Wright, Yana Batku, Kate Elizabeth Burks, Panayotis Loisides, Daniel McAteer. Tiago Santos, Sebastian Smolcheski, Emilia Witkowskaita, Caitlin Wild, Ella Louise Withers, 
Mohammed Yazdian. I will now read out the names of the outstanding students for the Higher National Diploma in Business and Management. Stephanie Brown, Kerryann Dengate, Alexander Price, Aaron Willett, Ellie Hales. And now moving on to the specialist pathways for the BA in business management, but beginning with the specialist pathway HRM, Matthew Ledoux Deakin, Ellie May Pavey, Anna Elizabeth Withers. And now the specialist pathway international business, Katie Lauren Stubbs, Yi Lin Tan, Oscar Rudyard James Flisher. Specialist Pathway Marketing, Jack Clark, Veronica Kosowska. Specialist Pathway for Finance, Raphael Marsan Borkowski, Lucy Collins, Casey Clark, Holly Fawkes. Specialist Pathway Enterprise, Laura Mucha, Manraj Singh Sangera. Bachelor of Arts Business Studies, Matthew Green, Joseph Webster. And finally, last but not least, our Joint Honours students, so for Bachelor of Arts in Business Management with Geography, we have Dale Dickinson. Bachelor of Arts Business Management with Law, we have Raja Mohammed Akil Khan. And Bachelor of Arts Business Enterprise and Marketing, Lily Smith. So fantastic work, everybody. Really great work. Keep it up. I hope to be reading out your names sometime because you've got a first class honours degree. And I'm now going to leave you with some messages from our programme leaders. Hi, I'm David, programme leader for Accounting and Finance. I uh, just want to say congratulations to all the winners of the Dean's Awards on the Accounting and Finance programme. We have Joe, Taranjit, Jacob, Chris, Kieran, Akril, Simran, Adish, Jacob, Lydia and Adam. So massive congratulations to all of you for your efforts so far. You've all done brilliantly well. Uh, enjoy your celebrations and uh, I'll catch up with you soon. Well done. Congratulations, Susie. Well done on this great achievement, not only in academic success, but everything you've thrown yourself into. I know you've recently been appointed the APTA student rep, and I hope that helps you gain a great insight into the industry for your studies for third year next year. Good luck and well done. Hi, Lucy. Many congratulations on being awarded the Dean's Award. What a fantastic achievement. Well deserved. Congratulations, Martha, on this great achievement. Not only have you achieved great academic success, but everything you've thrown yourself into um, at the university since you joined us in the first year, from the uh, summer placement event tours at the Dome, as well as the National Trust focus group. Uh, you always go the extra mile. Good luck with your future and well done. Hello everyone, I'm Paul Dow, the Programme Leader for the HND Business Management course. It's always wonderful to be asked to speak at the Dean's Award, which is a wonderful event. I'd first like to um, say a few words to congratulate uh, Carrie-Anne Derngate, who continues to excel on the HND programme, which she will finish in June of 2021. I'd also like to congratulate Stephanie Brown, who's consistently achieved excellent results on the HND C program so best wishes to you both and good luck with all your future endeavours. Well done, thanks, bye. Congratulations James, I'd just like to say well done on this great achievement. Not only have you achieved amazing academic success but also 
everything you've thrown yourself into at the University of Derby since you joined us with the Devonshire Dome Tours, your research with the National Trust focus groups and the project you're completing with Duncan. Well done. My name is Kuldeep Banwait. Uh, I'm the programme leader for BA Marketing, PR and Advertising. I just want to say congratulations on winning the Dean's Award. Uh, I wanted to say well done on achieving this and earning this award uh, due, due to your hard work uh, and your resilience and your commitment in these testing times. I wish you all the best in the next stage, whatever that might be, of your journey. And I, I hope you achieve whatever goals uh, you set yourselves. So thank you very much and uh, I hope you enjoy the award very much. I wish you all the continued success. Congratulations Jemima, what a great achievement. Academic success and everything you've done at the University of Derby. You've been a great ambassador for the university throughout your time with us, especially thanks for the help at the EPAD Lisbon College visit where you uh, supported students and gave a great reflection of the University of Derby. Really well done and good luck with your, your future. Congratulations to marketing digital students, Jot Deep Draw, Barbara Horakova, Catherine Hudson and Najina Iqbal. You've all done really well this last academic year. You've put a lot of effort in and achieved some fantastic results. I'm really proud of what you've done and impressed by the amount of effort you've put in and what you've undertaken. So a big congratulations and wishing you all the very best for this next academic year. Congratulations, Nikita. Great academic achievement and great success at the university so far. You really have got that hospitality smile and wish you every success for your third year next year. Very well done. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Sian, program leader for B Economics and subject lead for Joint Honours Economics. And I want to take this opportunity to say massive congratulations to Jennifer, Paula, Sabrina, James and Ryan for winning the Dean's Award this year. You all have worked really hard this year, I know, and you all deserve it. So I hope to see you soon. Enjoy the day, bye. Congratulations, Damanti. Well done on your academic achievement, but also for joining in everything at University of Derby. Uh, you always go the extra mile and you've been a great ambassador for our university. Well done. Welcome. Our partner, the East Midlands Chamber have this year sponsored experiential awards to the overall highest achievers within each college, five across the university. This award aims to enhance employability by providing mentoring and work shadowing opportunities, connecting the winners with mentors who represent both senior business leaders and recent graduates. I'm proud to announce the winner of the East Midlands Chamber Award for the highest overall achiever within the College of Business, Law and Social Sciences. Ladies and gentlemen, Lucas Bonieki. Lucas works full time as a HGV driver for XPO Logistics. He is married and his wife is in Poland, while Lucas studies for his degree here at Derby. He studies bachelor, for bachelor degree in logistics and supply chain management. Of the seven modules that have been graded so far in his second and third years of study, Lucas has achieved 90% plus in five and 80% plus in the other two. He has never missed a class since he started his studies with us at the university. He is indeed an outstanding student. Congratulations, Lucas. I hereby, before I wrap it up uh, for this afternoon, I have the pleasure of introducing our Vice Chancellor and Chief Executive Professor Catherine Michel for his closing remark. Congratulations to all winners in today's award ceremony. Thank you to you all for your commitment to your studies 
and to the university? That's a warm message from our Vice Chancellor, Professor Michel. Um, to wrap this up, really, uh, today has been, or uh, this afternoon has been uh, a wonderful experience for academics as well as all of us present, particularly uh, the recipients of the award. Hearty congratulations to you all. You've worked hard and you've defied all the odds imposed upon us by this unexpected pandemic that has dragged on. Your achievement is really commendable because you represent and embody the vision of the university to be a citadel of excellence in student experience, learning and teaching, and research capabilities. You should be proud that you've been taught by excellent lecturers, and they are excellent in all ramifications. Just recently, uh, earlier this month, we were made to aware. I mean, we were made to understand that five of our professors within the college are categorized within the top two percent of global researchers across all disciplines. This is an achievement we are proud of, and we are indeed proud that these erudite scholars are able to bring their expertise into the classroom. We are always proud to see our academics as well as students breaking new grounds and achieving uh, their objectives of coming here to study, which is to excel. I hope you all, as well as your loved ones, have enjoyed the, today's event. The essence of the celebration is to encourage all students to do more, to work harder, to attain the best grades possible, and to attain an excellent graduate outcome after their studies with us. That's such that we as a university will be very proud of your achievements and what you are able to make out of your degree when you eventually graduate. We normally refer to this event as a mini graduation and it's an event we all look forward to. And you see all your tutors, lecturers, heads of schools and heads of discipline, they look forward to it because they are proud of your achievement. Uh, and I, as the Dean, I'm particularly proud of your achievement because it's a day I normally look forward to. I shake hands, take photographs with you. But even though we are doing this virtually, I don't have any doubt in my mind if I see my picture side by side with one of the recipients sh shaking hands because I know what you, your generation can be up to. And I won't feel annoyed at all. So feel free to make the best of the opportunity that has been presented to you despite all the limitations. Finally, I thank my colleague or my colleagues across the school for all their hard work and all their support for their students. I can see the joy, the pleasure in them each time we have events of this nature and which is always crowned with the graduation ceremony. Uh, I hope our recipients will work harder and I look forward to seeing them at the graduation whenever the situation permits. Enjoy the rest of the sunny afternoon today and make the best of this uh, glorious day. Very many thanks for attending. I wish you all the very best for the future. Thank you.